When you combine two innovative technologies, you have the potential to disrupt and then also transform an industry. And that's exactly what Geometrics and Skyfront have done with the Magro and Primerate. So our Magro magnetometer is a geophysical sensor and it basically detects the Earth's magnetic field. For 50 years, people have been using backpack magnetometers. It's these big, bulky contraptions. You have to know all the geophysics of magnetometry in order to set the thing up in the first place. But now, with the Magaro, we've put it into this sleek one kilogram carbon fiber enclosure with the ultra long flight time of a Primer 8 or Primer 4 drone from Skyfront. You can survey very large areas very quickly, much faster than you could with a traditional walking survey. And it's all done with less logistical air. So we were out here today with Skyfront flying our Magaro and we were doing a product demonstration showing the capabilities of the Magaro magnetometer paired with a long flight time drone, which is their Perimeter 8. When it comes to standard industry, uh, oil and gas industry, civil engineering, uh, things of this nature, you don't have UAV platforms that can fly for three, four, five hours. You have the DJI M600, which can fly for 20 minutes. It's really a fundamental shift in the industry, moving from land systems to UAV systems, and the technology is here, we have it. All of our products are made to simplify your search, but with the Mag Arrow, we've really embraced that slogan. Taken the science of the Mag Arrow magnetometer, and we've made it accessible to an entire group of people who probably never thought they would be doing geophysical surveys. My name is Troy, and I'm the CEO of Skyfront. We create long endurance hybrid electric multi rotor drones that can fly for up to five hours and carry payloads up to 5.5 kilograms. So we use uh, hybrid electric propulsion uh, to power our systems. We convert gasoline into electricity, which gives us 10x the flight time of traditional battery-powered drones. The Perimeter 8 with the Mag Aero is designed specifically to carry a slung payload very close to the ground, very stably. The Perimeter 8 is also designed to carry all sorts of different payloads, including LiDARs and a variety of different cameras specialized for specific applications. Our product is designed to be incredibly flexible from start to finish. The setup time for a Perimeter 8 is around five minutes for a trained operator. Uh, getting up in the air is extremely easy to do. You don't need to tune the engine, right? There's no carburetor, it's electronically fuel injected. And the way that we've done it, you just fly out to the location, you start up the aircraft, and it's ready to go. All of Skyfront's drones are built in the United States. Uh, everything is done in-house. We test and ensure the payloads are ready for the customer as soon as they get out to the field. By managing the supply chain as well as talking to the customers, we're able to ensure that whatever the customer is looking for, we can adapt our supply chain or the product to them specifically. We've developed a lot of software in addition to the hardware for our aircraft. Our software uh, gives the end user the ability to closely follow the terrain, uh, with respect to the gas engine, it gives the end user the ability to tune the engine if they needed to, if they needed to decrease the temperature of the cylinder or increase the temperature of the cylinder. They can do that just by simply changing a parameter. The Perimeter 8 with the Mag Arrow on board, so that, that combination actually has a slung payload. The Mag Arrow sits about two meters below the aircraft. Uh, to specialize it for this particular application, we actually redid all the PCBs and eliminated any current loops inside of our vehicle. So this reduces the amount of interference that the Mag Arrow experiences. In terms of the flight stability, it was extremely stable. So as soon as we took off, the Mag Arrow settled down. There was no movement at all. It followed the aircraft exactly as it was going over the ground. Uh, this is really important for magnetometry in terms of uh, post-processing and eliminating noise and getting really high quality data. By being able to fly lower and closer to the ground, we're able to actually discriminate things much better in magnetic field much better and therefore, in fact, on this site, uh, we would have normally flown it at 25 meters above ground surface. This time we flew it at 10 meters above ground surface. And as a result, we have actually resolved, there's a pipeline that runs, two pipelines now that run through the uh, through the area, we've actually resolved both pipelines to an RTK accuracy. Uh, it, it's, it's just phenomenal, it's amazing. Putting the MFAM technology into the MAG Arrow allows us to use the small size and weight of the MAG, uh, of the MFAM 
and, uh, and allow it to be towed underneath drones, um, which is not practical with a, a larger uh, traditional cesium magnetometer. The MFAM is, the, is what is inside the mag arrow, and it is the technology that's used to, uh, gener to measure the magnetic signature. But one of the nice things about the MFAM technology is that we've got built into it some IMU devices. Um, we have a compass, a gyro, and an accelerometer. So you can use the compass, for example, to remove the heading air effects of the magnetometer. What you can do is take a drone and fly it high up into the air, and then you can rotate the drone through all of the positions, keeping it in one spot, so that you end up with a magnetic signature of what the heading air of the MFAM itself is. And then you can fly your survey, and using that same compass data that's integrated with the magnetometer data, you can then remove the heading air effects and get very accurate survey results. And this really is transformative. It really disrupts the industry because before you were limited by short flight times and you were limited by cumbersome software that wasn't designed for UAV magnetics. And now you can do all this very seamlessly in one survey, the logistics are much easier. Whether you're doing exploration or environmental work, you, you want to get as much out of the data as you possibly can. And sometimes the, the, uh, the electromagnetic signal can be diagnostic about what's happening in a subsurface. You're not mapping geology with it particularly, but what, you're, what you could be mapping uh, is, at least in a qualitative sense, you could be mapping variations in electrical conductivity. What the sky front perimeter with the mag arrow allows end users to do is extract as much value from this extremely capable sensor as possible. So the, this combination is a revolution in my mind of, of uh, drone magnetometer surveying. And uh, there's a lot of benefit to it. That the MagArrow data at two and a half hour flight block, uh, we were able to, in the course of a day, probably cover uh, a square mile uh, at, a, at a very tight line spacing. Uh, that's, that's huge in terms of productivity. It's huge in terms of the, of the, at the end of the survey where you're trying to put all of the data together, get it all corrected. Uh, it really speeds up the process. It makes the, uh, the delivery of a, of a final product happen much sooner in the, in the workflow. And more importantly, the information that you would extract of it happens a lot sooner in the workflow. You can make immediate decisions while you're in the field to go back and detail an area, for example that in, in days gone by, we, uh, we wouldn't have been able to do so. My name is Neil Smith. I'm the Chief Innovation Officer at Falcon Vis. And uh, really my, my goal as uh, the Chief Innovation Officer is to identify new technologies that we can integrate into our platform for surveying and mapping. I, I'm really excited about the demo site that was selected today for Mag Arrow and Skyfront uh, because when I came out to the site, I had no idea in my mind that there was a pipe a five to six inch pipe that was running along underneath the area that we were scanning. And uh, that was immediately obvious the second that um, we were able to run the magnetometer over the area. And I can imagine it would be, the, be even easier and even, even uh, more systematic when you have much larger pipes like what you would be dealing with in the oil and gas industry. My impressions of the demo today, they were convincing. When I came out here, my big question was, what would be the advantage of just constantly just swapping out batteries on an M600? And I think what I saw today is one, it's nice to have a long flight that allows you to get a good swath of area. So on the analysis side, on the processing side, there's less work in trying to combine these um, different missions together. Um, if we did this flight with um, a standard copter with only 15 minute fl flight time, we're looking at six to seven flights to cover the same area as what we did here. It's more consistent, um, it allows you to be more systematic in the field, and I think in the end it's going to result in better data. That's what I saw from the demo today and it convinced me hands down that we need to move to this type of technology if we want to stay at the forefront of this type of work in the field. My name is Bart Hoekstra. I a Vice President of Geophysical Sales here at Geometrics. I've been at Geometrics 12 years. Prior to that, I had decades of experience as a geophysical consultant using Geometrics equipment and other people's equipment out in the field. It's been a revolutionary change in equipment, right? As we've uh, gotten new computer technology, you know, Geometrics was on the forefront of integrating PC technology into their equipment and making it 
uh, so that we could really do a much better job of determining that we had good data while we were in the field. One of the things that really drives us at Geometrics is that we want to make sure that the data you collect will give you the results that you want and will be of high enough quality so that you can do interpret the data, you can process the data and give results that you need, be it uh, shear wave velocities for engineering design, be it location of unexploded ordnance, be it the location of mineral bodies, whatever it is that your geophysical target is, we will get you the data that you need to provide those answers. This is a Magaro magnetometer and Primitor 8 UAV from Geometrics and Skyfront.